at it again fishbowl chronicles you already know what it is so let's get into it if you do not know me i am brianca hardy the inner healing life coach i help men and women heal from mother wounds and father wounds and if you're watching this you're catching the replay this is fishbowl chronicles and let's get into it come on catching you guys on your lunch break or you maybe you're doing errands. Maybe this is your off day, y'all. I'm trying to. Some of them don't fall out. We just gone. We we just gone pull, honey. We just gone pull. Fishbowl chronicles. Let's go. Hearing God and listening to God. Hearing God and listening to God. Right. So hearing God, hey Juicy, hearing God and listening to God are two different things. What are you talking about, Coach, Coach Brianca? They sound like the same thing. They're not, right? So you can hear God, meaning God can say, go give a word to that person, right? God can say, um, go encourage that person. God can tell you to uh, do something, right? God can tell you to do something. God can tell you, listen, I've called you to be a ruler. I've called you. Uh, to uproot and to tear down. I've called you to do these great things in the earth, but are you listening to what God is saying, right? So listening from a biblical standpoint, it's not just listening with your ears, but listening, and I wish I remembered the Hebrew word for it or the Greek word for it, but it doesn't just mean to listen, but it also means to obey, right? So when you hear God, you're not just listening. When you're listening to God, you're not just listening, you're obeying him right and it is critical to go the next step in your spiritual walk with God right you can't just hear God right you can't just be at a level where oh I just hear God speak right I just hear God speak but are you listening to God when God told you on yesterday to have faith as small as a mustard seed were you hearing him or were you listening to him because if you're listening to him then that's going to activate you to obey him right so that means that now that I listen to what my father is saying now that i'm listening to him my my obedience is finna come into play now i'm finna tap into not just me having faith but i am finna go into supernatural prayers come on i'm gonna believe for this thing i'm gonna trust that he's gonna do it why because i'm not just hearing him but i'm obeying him right i'm gonna go to the next level where if he tells me to go this way i'm gonna go right so your obedience is is going to the next level when you listen it's going to the next level by obeying god we as believers have to go to the next level let's switch this thing with healing god is telling you to heal from your mother wounds god is telling you to heal from your father wounds and you're hearing it but are you listening to it which means obeying it are you obeying it when he tells you to heal from these wounds are you connecting with someone that can help you get to the right place of that healing are you connecting are you going into your word not just hearing the word but being a doer of the word come on are you listening to that when he tells you these things are you doing the work right so once again on to um today fishbowl chronicles we're talking about the difference of hearing god and listening to god we already identified that when you hear god you're just hearing what he says right he says that i'm beautiful he says that i'm wonderful right he says that I have he has sent me to the nations, right? He's saying all these things. But if I'm listening to him, now I line up with being sent to the nation. Come on. Now I'm praying prayers before I uh as Dr. Faith says, she says, before you actually go to the nations that God is calling to in intercession, you gotta go there. So when when God tells me to listen, come on, when he tells me I'm sending you to the nations, my prayers go already to the nations where he's sending me to. Come on, somebody. So we have as believers must rise to the next level from just hearing God to listening to God come on we obey what God is telling us to do in these times that we are in y'all I don't know if y'all sense it in the atmosphere but at the end of this year and as we launch into 2023 we're about to see some things that that will make people gasp before their very eyes listen you're gonna be like is this thing real we need to go from a place where you can't hear God come on the remnant gotta move from just hearing God to listening to God if we want to be in the proper place where we can say a thousand can fall in my left side and ten thousand on my right but it shall not go 
come nigh, it's because we're listening to God. So when God says, okay, I know you want to go to that location, but you can't go there because there is uh, some pestilence, some plagues in the land and you don't want to be in that atmosphere. Come on, somebody. We have got to listen to God. And so I challenge you today in this fishbowl chronicles, what is God saying? Son, I need you to go from hearing me to listening to me. Come on. I need you to not just hear me, but I need you to walk this thing out. What is God telling you today, daughter, where he says, listen, I know you heard me when I came to you as you lay on your bed. I know you heard me when I spoke to you in prayer, but are you listening to me? When I told you to go read this particular chapter in the Bible, are you listening to me? Why? Because when God gives us instructions, come on, his his strategies and the instructions that he gives are always solution driven. Come on, y'all. When God tells us to do something, there's always a solution connected to it. Come on. We serve a, a solution ready God. He's always ready to give a solution. Come on. This is why he wants us to come to him. All who are weary and heavy burden. Why? Because the solution is in me. God says, I got rest for you. Come on, somebody. We serve a God that is solution ready. And so this is why it is critical that we go to the next level of listening to God and obeying him. Come on now. Prophet Shamir just said, God just spoke this to me. Trust me, Jesus, you, we can't go anywhere. Come on now. We can't go anywhere without God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So we are decreeing and declaring that as the body of Christ, that as the remnant, we are going from hearing to listening, right? What is God telling you to do? Listen, come on, listen. Those that have ears, let them hear what God is saying to the remnant, what God is saying to his sons, what God is saying to his daughters. Y'all, I may come back and put the definition of the Hebrew word, but there's a Hebrew or Greek word that literally the definition when it says listen it means to obey and so what's connected to our ears is obedience come on hark unto the clarion call that God is crying out for the nations hark unto the clarion call that God is sending you he's telling you I want you to do some great things and you're hearing the great things but is your heart listening to it come on did you know that your heart and your mouth and uh, your heart your ears and your mouth are all connected come on as a man thinketh, so is he come on out of the mouth come on the heart speaks flows the issues of life come on somebody so we have to be in a mindset that we say I'm not just hearing God but I'm listening to God and because I'm listening my feet obey my heart obeys my mind obeys my eyes obey and so I'm just simply here to encourage you in these fishbowl chronicles to go to the next level in your listening Right. Which is essentially I'm encouraging you to go to the next level in your obedience to God. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. We've been low level Christians long enough. Come on. Am I talking to just myself? I've been a low level Christian long enough. How, I love that emoji, Prophet Shamira. Come on. She got the hearing aid emoji, meaning it's time that we come on, keen our ears to the throne of heaven. Come on, we need to listen to God. It's time out to be low level. It's time out that we as the remnant are shocked what's about to hit the land. No, we are the first ones to, to we, we can be the first ones to know, right? What is about to hit the land. We don't have to be shocked by everything. Come on now. There are some things that God, even when he told Abraham, when Abraham was praying for the nation, when Abraham was praying for Lot, his nephew, and God said, listen, that's an intercessor right now. Should I tell him what I'm about to do? Because I know that if he, if he asks, seek and knock, he know I'm going to give it to him. So should I give him, should I let him know what I'm doing? Come on, because I know this is a one that listens and obeys. Come on, somebody. There are times when we have the ear of God. We have the heart of God. Come on, somebody. There are many times in scriptures where you saw that God said, even with Moses, he said, you know what, Moses, you intercede. So I'm going to do just what you said. According to thy will is what God said. Not God said, I wanted to um, cast the Israelites out. God said, I wanted to throw up, throw the Israelites away. But according to thy word, Moses, what am I saying? And if we listen to God, right? 
he's going to give us his ear as well. And because we have his ear, we have his heart. Come on, somebody. And so this is critical even in your prayer, even in intercession, that if you have the heart of God, I bet you're going to start praying differently. Come on. If I know that if I pray the will of my father and I have his ear, I'm praying differently. Come on. I'm not going to go to the prayer saying little prayers, but I'm going to pray a big prayer. I'm going to pray a boldness. Why? Because I'm listening to God, right? And because I I'm listening and obeying him. He gives me his heart. Amen. I pray that this quick fishbowl chronicles encourage you. Catch me back tomorrow doing another fishbowl chronicles. You guys have an amazing, amazing Wednesday and I'll catch you tomorrow. Once again, I am coach Priyanka, the inner healing life coach, and I help men and women heal from mother and father wounds. And I'll catch you tomorrow on fishbowl chronicles. Bye.